This is a sound chat exclusive. Wicked Ching Wicked. Caller, you are live. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Wag one, brother. Who that my long time friend, Cabra? Wag one, Jim. Where are you with, man? Now. You are plugged into Sound Chat Radio, man. And Cabra, let, we, we haven't held the vibes in a long time. But let me say this to you, man. Yeah. Sound Chat is one of the biggest programs in on the air. It's syndicated in about 15 different cities. And also, everybody listens to it all over the internet, man. So there's a whole lot of people listening to you right now. Right? And there's a, wow. lot, of, there's a lot of things that we need to clear up, man. We need to talk. And I know you and I haven't talked. So we're going to have, like, one of our personal discussions that me and you usually have when we catch up. We're going to do it on air for yeah, everybody man. else to hear, right? Now, yeah, man. now, those of you who just tuned in, I am speaking to Mad Cabra, one of the giants of the 90s. And when I say giants, he was one of the first artists to hit the billboard hard. With a song called Flex, what were, what were some of the other crossover songs that you you had had um, um cover during that time? Well, you have, you have you have Legacy with me and me and um Richard Stevens. Oh, by your Legacy, I'm gonna stop cry. But yeah, I have I have Dead and Street with me and 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 the Ghetto Boys. See, you yeah. have me and Tony Braxton with you making me high. Yeah, so, you know, we, we have a few of the, the, the songs that really cross over into the mainstream radio and the audience also. So those were our all-time favorites. So, so, you know, we're grateful for all those love from the 90s till now. Let's talk, let's talk about it like this, man, because I want some of these young bucks who are listening that have not been following Mad Cabra to, to kind of understand, yeah. you know, what you have done for the industry of dancehall, right? Now, in the midst yeah. of you doing the crossover hits and you know and, and, and becoming this billboard topper you were still running the circuit in in jamaica as well you know like often we see nowadays where once a man cross over and get at jamaica done with him you were one of the artists where i run the billboards but you were running jamaica as well and had the dance hall lot yeah. how did you do that at that time well how i have done that is to keep current on top of what is happening because once you, you, you reach mainstream, you'll find um, the local always say, boy, I hope they don't switch from us. What I do, I always try to go to the ghettos. I don't switch my spots everywhere that I've been. Like in the ghettos, the communities, I pass through the, 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 the regular dance hall, the, the regular street vibe, the, the, you name it, everything that, that is gutter that they will call um, the streets. I keep the streets with me. That is what I've done. So I find myself going like to the regular dance hall, the regular clubs, the regular uh, meet and greet, the regular mall, the regular... The, the original spot that gave you your break. See. As long as you keep that original roots, you know, and don't let, let, you don't let your original fan base feel as if they have to make an extra to reach to you. You're, you're, just, a, you're just a touch away. He, he, that is what you have to do. Keep the original rules. Here's a good question, Cabra, man, and I really want you to think about this one before you answer it, right? The Mad Cabra, yeah. when you step into that voicing box, right, is your objective yeah. to make a crossover song or is your objective to make a strong dancehall song and if it cross over, so let it be? Yeah, that is what I, I've done. I, I, I record an original hardcore song, what people love me for. That is what I deliver. So if it, if it happens to reach a crossover flavor or you find the international market, so to speak, um, gravitates to this energy, so be it. But I, when, I, when I put on a headphone and go around a microphone, I do what is inside of me, what I feel. I don't try to, to, to go extra to appeal to, to an international market or to say, um, I'm going to do something to make my original grassroots people say what i deliver what i feel so if it cross over fine with me if not i'm good do but you, I, I just do what i feel do you feel like that's a problem today a lot of the younger artists or today's artists are going into the booth and they're just thinking about crossover but not thinking about the grassroots yeah that is that that is one of the main problems because um when you find if you find if you notice some some of us or or younger artists in dancehall, if they get a hip hop if they get a hip hop beat, 
to, 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 to do a song on. They try to sound like the hip hop artists. They try to do a flavor going into um, the, 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 the flair that the, the hip hop artists um, are doing. But if you deliver dancehall to the hip hop flavor, that is what they like. They say, okay, we're trying to, we, we're trying to get on our hook on to um, their dialect or might be the melody. They like a sing along, some hook. You understand? But if you try, as a dancehall artist, try to do rap, you're going to fail. Right. So you have to deliver what attracts the international market to like you, to even ask you to be a part of a project that is a hip hop rhythm. So when you were at the height of your career in the 90s and you were crossing over, what was your, what was your you know, I'm trying to find the proper, the, the proper word. Let me see if I can, can, can say it this way. Were you, did you ever find yourself in a situation where you crossed over and you were acting American? Or did you keep that whole hardcore, mad cabra Jamaican image all throughout and just sold that image um, moving forward? I keep it straight. I right. keep it straight. That's why, that is the reason why I could um, no longer have a major deal and still go to a sting or a sunset, a reggae sun splash or uh, any show and deliver. Because the thing is that I did not try to cross over. Never try to cross over. Let the crossover market or the international market or a different genre of music accept you. Don't try to be accept accepted by them. Let them accept you for what they, they, they see in your in your um, delivery or what you bring to the art form of music. As a veteran, Cabra, what do you think is different about what's going on today than what's what's going on in, 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 in at your that was going on in your time? What's different now? What's what's making the music change? How it has changed? That that the, the change is is, is, is is the artist, the delivery, um, the, uh, um, what attracted dancehall to the international market in the nineties was that hardcore, that that art picking, that. Um, you know, the, 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 the raw dancer, that raw dialect, what we deliver. The, 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 the terror fabulous, the butcher bantan, the cabra, the super cat, the shabarangs. You understand the, 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 um, the, 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 the beanie man at the edge of the, 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 the two tones, something. The, the, the killer. You understand the bone to killer. That hardcore punch. The mega bantan. The, 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 you, you made it. The nice is easy. The baby win. That hardcore punch that we put to dance hall, these young artists, no disrespect to their um, transformation, but you have to keep, if you want dance hall to stay in the mind of the international market, a market like this is something that we want to, you know, get into and spend major money in. You have to keep that hardcore. The younger artists are not. There are a few like. The the, the, the assassin, the vice cartel, the understand those DJs keep the hardcore as young um, inspirational artists that um, the market look up to now as the new station guards. Those are few, but the majority of them try to go um, hip hop, trying to speak proper English and trying to be like the, the international art uh, market. That is not what attracted them to us in the 90s. What attracted them to us was our delivery, what we bring to the table. So if you're going to try to be like them, you're going to fail because they won't see you as something that they have to try to learn from. Now, I know that there's... I know that there's people listening to you right now, and, and i got to ask this question, not because I know what you're saying, but I know that there's people having this on their mind right now. And they're saying that, yo, the older artists, them, the 90s artists, them, just criticize the younger youth, them, because them not as hot as the younger youth, them, anymore. What do you say to people that think that the reason why you're saying what you're saying is because they are a new crop of artists and you may not be getting the attention that, you, that they're getting right now? How do you answer questions like that? Okay, one simple um um gesture. Been there, done that. True indeed. If you cannot, if yeah, if you if in 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 our in the nineties, you have faces before the 
90s. And when we were here, like the, the, the Cabra, the Butcher Bantan, the Terra Fabulous, the, the Mega Bantan, the Daddy School, you name it, the, the 90s, the, the Cape the Dance, you name it. When the 80s artists come to us and say, well, boy, you know, say, you, 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 you don't go too hard with the girl lyrics and the, the profanity and whatsoever. We, if you are smart enough, you would listen. You understand? Listen and take points. The 90s artists, I don't think, the 90s artists are trying to, to, to overstep um, boundaries. Like, boy, who, you know, oh, you find the, the younger artists, oh, we're not taking a on them. But if you notice, majority of the songs that have been, that have been recorded now are most of the younger artists of this era are trying to do what we, the 90s artists, have done. If you notice, majority of the melodies Which is from true. the 90s have been used by now. Which is true. So, I don't... Yeah, but you'll find... You'll find 90s artists play a piece, the younger artists. I've seen it. 90s artists, not some of them, not all, play a piece, the younger artists. Artists. So you you are strongly and, and then you are strongly then against the the, 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 the artists of the nineties not giving the two thousand artists and beyond the proper chance then you you don't like to see that happen. yeah I, yeah I'm a, I'm against it because reasons being um, I I was a victim of that in the nineties by the eighties artists so I know the pain that some of these artists feel because you find um, the crowd is going to yeah I have seen with our artists now I have seen the man. Because I'm going to step away and listen from this to, to use a particular event to, 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 to use an example. Ayatine was called upon by um, the promoters for some fest to, to, to anchor the show. You understand? To close some fest. Right. And you, I, I, 90s artists start to eat out. Who? Let me look at why they can't do this. Who? They have a pop down. That was a bad gesture. For senior artists, because Carla Spade has played, if that particular artist of the 90s was on top of his so called game, or the, the most popular of, of the crop, whether 90s or 2000s, he would be called upon to um, close the show. So I, I, I was very upset when I hear the testers who are up to him to pop down. And Chin, the youth, closed the show. With the energy, I'm a feel proud. Because in God, they had him just do the music. He never did a try. Ray, Ray, Ray. Not because he's my friend. He's my friend. I have seen him as my friend. And the, and the 90s artist, don't you, I don't choose to call his name, was also my friend. Right. You understand? But I did not appreciate the gesture for you to wish bad. I agree that you have some of the younger artists, you know, I got this dance I'll start with them and they, they don't need no one to tell them anything. I agree. You will find that in every industry. You understand? But most of the nicest artists don't know when to step aside and be seniority. Veteran. We have veteran DJs, so allow the young youth and do them thing, but we should just do our thing. To me, nice is artists and beyond, like the eighties coming up. Just we just need to maintain our career, maintain our career. Do songs and you know still do your work, but don't act as if you want to run down no big man position because that's the party. Face it, King. So, when we was out there in the nineties, our age group and our peers moved on to be parents. Right. Some switch from dance have gone into Christianity and whatsoever. So we have a big generation gap. Right. So when we can still appeal to some of the little youths and we are listening to the Vice Cartel, the Movado, the, 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 the Idona, and you understand, appreciate that love that is issued to us still being a part of the industry. Just stop seniority and stop trying to be the, the, the big man at all times. Speak, speak, speaking, speaking of um, uh, uh, of 
the seniority. Speaking of, you know, artists not wanting to endorse the younger crop of artists coming up, you have a song called Defend It, right? And that's one of the things that I really need to talk to you about because it seems like, yeah. you know, the old Cabra, that 90s Cabra where we, we, we was willing to stand up to any artist is, is just coming yeah. back out. You know what I mean? That, and those, yeah. of you who, those of you who are just tuning in, I'm speaking to Cabra and not only was he an artist that topped the billboard charts here in the states and in europe right he was also a hardcore dancehall artist plus he was an artist that had little clashes here and there as well so he was one of jamaica's well-rounded artists now when i heard the aluna like it defended song it brought me back in the days yeah. of cabra versus ninja man cabra versus bujo bantan <laughs> where cabra would just say yo this are my thing this are my view if you don't like it, you make yeah. your song and make me come back, come yeah. make my song. Yeah. What, yeah. what made right, you do that? This is a song, this, this is a song, different, it, different it speak every line. So if, if the listeners just go onto YouTube and type in, different it and listen the lyrics. This lyric depicts, just a script, depicts some of the corruption that is happening in the dance hall presently, now as we speak. It is about the same senior artists who they, 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 there's no unity, no no. They try to fight against a next artist. Not only the younger artists, but there are our own generation. And you find some artists at this. I'm going to use instant to show you things. You find artists that in a few with the next artist. Cool. But my the E is the big man at the same time. Cool. They now do not show if that man is on the show. That means you're trying to stop that man fool. You find senior artists that need to step aside and give the, the, the younger artists a break. See? Not telling us to leave your occupation, but you know, stop trying to run down what is not. Stop stop chasing chasing phantom. Right. You find them they try to weary and Compete with younger artists and very, very, very the same thing that we were speaking about earlier on. And when I when I bring out the point in the Senate, the Senate is depicting the corruption of dancers. We find artists that try at all time will do any, any and everything to be on top. This it out against artists that never help anyone in music. Now to clear the air. Some of the time you find, and I, I, I read my, because I'm a person who reads my YouTube um, comments, and some are negative, some are good. And Ray Ray, who are among the, who are one of the killer in my talk. I couldn't be talking about the killer, because Bone the killer bust the most artist in the business. He bust one of the maddest lyrics. A poor cartel of lyrics, but killer push him up and said, This am I you. Same. Here's your name. You understand? If a man check the record and check me, I am, and I'm going to say this, I am the person who pushed Vegas out there. Ask Vegas when they interviewed, who are the first man can from America? Who the Ray? Lexus, I first person who took Lexus on a tour. You understand that, boy? My you would understand that. Ask Elephant Man, and look, here was the man who was killed. Ask Elephant who take him. Some who want to it and can't to pop it to the child. You know, the why you listen to him, which I'm the car, you have it, and I'll be to tell you, okay, yeah, you remember a loose tongue, you know, brother, you know, uh, yo, art determine who the get the drum and do sound, who carry him out there. But the thing is that now, Kim, we don't go out and brag. You understand? We don't go out and brag, but we have done things. You have other artists that the characters fit when they are talking about fighting artists. You have some artists who don't know, some big senior artists that is above me. Before me, rather, not above, before me. But after this, when they take a break, dance hall must take a break. We have to call on you, the people you know exactly who we are. Wow. You see me? Now, you understand? When they take a break, dance hall must go and pass until they're ready for DJ. We not play that. So that's why if they listen to the lyrics carefully, you have a line where it says, Big man in a dance hall, come up with your one call. Next, little clown is killing. All is mine. 
Don't you love the ghetto youth? Stop lying. Me never hear you left a pound of chicken back frying. You understand me? I said, the metaphor is up. You know, help nobody. You go like you for the ghetto, but you never left a pound of chicken back. People in America are who listening who don't know what is chicken back. is the chicken part, the mother part. You understand me? I said, right, me. right, right. You cannot afford a full chicken, so they will buy the chicken part, the wing, the, so, like, so, not in the wing. So this particular, uh, this, this particular artist, yeah. this particular artist or artist that we're talking about are ones who claim or who, who would want to say that the business belongs to them and um when them yeah. when when them decide so them want to stop record for a little bit them want them don't want nobody boss in between that time then yeah and and and, and, and them childish not for them childish now the artist not only not only one in a team is a is 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 a, is a, is a whole is a whole crew a clique now I promised my I promised my listeners that when I got you on the phone I was going to ask you who was the artist and I am going to ask you you can decline to answer but I have to ask you who is the artist that you are talking about when you talk about all Una like it defend it because the lyrics are so piercing and it's so meaningful that it left everybody here wondering who cabra war with who cabra throwing word pan. Let me tell you something with me, with me, with me, with me, with me, Kim. Because man, we're not afraid of people. They know that. So that's not being here. So, when we say, anyone I own when I like to defend it, if anybody with a cap fit, wear it. You have to see something now. One of the lines, you know, part of the lyrics, part of the lyrics goes for being a man. Wow. Part of the lyrics. Wow. Are you why I said that? Which part okay, goes for Beanie Man? Which part? All right. All right. Beanie make a speech. Beanie Man make a speech. And the speech that he made, I didn't like the, 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 the speech. When, 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 when Bounty Killer was in a feud, not when Bounty Killer was in a little vibe with um, Tommy Lee, right? Beanie Man came and did that interview and was saying, oh, um, Tommy, um, Tommy Lee was a Miss Killer for Killer Fina artist. Yes, we look for that too, but are you, is are you? With them, them generally said, I said, Miss Killer, I'm going to with you. I'm not going to worry you, how are you? I'm going to go mad with you. They want this, you. So I diss you this. Anyway, being the man's speech was, and Tim, it's not a bull, just tell me, I need you, a bull, you are We are man enough to say that. And anybody we are listening, they have to write to come in, say, a bull, stop at that car. You see, we have to, now, Buster, watch me now. Any words was, boy, Tommy Lee up to this skill I know cause, he to know say, um, Tommy Lee to know say, a full column being a dancer. He said, be the man, killer, keep the gun, and boot you. You hear me, Tim? Yeah, you, you. When be, when, when be the man said that, I did not have an objection because that is his Opinion. I'm fine with that, but listen to the next, listen to the line that come after that. Be in the man, bounty killer, people can, put your man can, and the rest of man them in the industry is just windows. We are on joke with. Wow. Windows in the building. The PR style has windows in the building because if there's a foundation, you must have. Origin, the most of a foundation, the most of the window in the building, you keep everybody look down tall. So just leave it at me, that is you, you have to talk about yourself now, you know. It's just left it at me, the man, killer, but you, keep it on. Left it at that. Why you style other artists at windows in the building? Where you want to know? Two pockets of window in the building, with 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 two pockets of window in the building, Shaggy Hour, we don't do that in the dance hall. Shaggy Hour, Shaggy, we don't do that in the dance hall. Sean Paul, we don't do that in the dance hall. Cartier, we don't do that in the dance hall. We are about everybody. No man, no, nobody in the country will dance hall. So, you understand what I'm saying? So, that speech is wrong. What line do you answer about that speech with? Let's dissect. Because All right. The, hold on, hold All on, right. Cabra. Hold on, hold on. Those of you who are listening, right? Yeah. 
Now, I know that a lot of us, um, we, 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 when we talk about lyrics, we talk about cartel. Everyone talks about cartel with this whole lyrical situation. But I can tell you, if you are a child, if you are a dancehall goer of the 90s, Cabra is one of those people that we look at for lyrics. He's always been a lyrical artist and always been able to use metaphors. So before cartel, was Cabra, yeah. there were artists as well as Spraga and other artists that were just very, very lyrical, right? So what I want to do yeah. with you, why I have you on the phone, the subject right now is defend it, right? I want you to break down to yeah. everybody listening right now, which part you use on Touch Beanie, man? All right, the part is, is when since this becomes a one-man bread, why everybody has to do a one-man set? The crown too big to fit a one man head. The girl them too nothing only in a one man head. We drop off a shoulder to do so far head. And also them are free them while you drop down dead. You know them are got arcs who skelter attack with a low field. A man with knocks far head. How oh, nobody has talk to some human youth. Dancers bigger than human youth. The I something the way you are do, you feel no set. Respect and something where it by my youth. Hey, check. Anyone who know we don't like this, defend it. But before that, I say, we stack lyrics, we stack rhymes. And if we have rhymes, we must have lines. Fool, you know, let me get you the same time. Time for me to tell some little fool in my mind. Dance all of my shop and I chew bad mind. Cropping up a real of the dirt and slime. Rapping on Batman, Batman and that man. That man know how to see another man climb. King King go to the switch all twice. You make sure you want to know the youth and fish shine. Call them in a dance hall, come and play a want hall. You understand me, Baba? Call them in a dance hall, come and play a want hall. So directly now, you are saying beanie. Now, let me say this, Cabra, because you don't know when me and you are talk, me and you are talk. If Beanie was to yeah. get up tomorrow and realize that you are talking about him and answer your song, would you engage in a lyrical confrontation with Beanie Man, such as you did with, with, with Buju back in the days and such as you did with Ninja Man back in the days? Well, let me tell you something with me, though. When the whole microphone is changed in a thing, but the correction what that, that I have done with a particular lyric, particular lyric wasn't anything that is going to who. You do this and you that and you pray and mother. Me no go them with it. You understand? Me no go them with it. What I will do now, if it happens to be that I will use metaphors, that metaphors I will use metaphors against you that fit your street credibility, words on the street, what they are saying about you. Wow. You understand? So I will use metaphors that fit a character. But I am not, to me, Beanie Man is, is my artist when it comes to performance on stage and delivery. Face it, Jim. He is one of the few men, no matter who. If Kabana do not sing now, we don't hear from Kabana for a long time. If Shabana do not sing now, we don't hear from Shabana for a long time. Any man, Spragana do not sing now, we don't hear from Beanie Man was that man who have the torch. No matter what I go on, he always out there. Can't take with that for him, but sometimes speech is come out. We have to respect yeah, him for that. We have to respect yeah, yeah, him for that. We have to respect his contribution. Because we can't straight to them. We don't need to go around Ghana. Because we don't have to give him one. We don't have to give him one. We see him tomorrow. We hear him if he wants to answer. Fine. But my thing, when you make a speech, never read. But you cannot take away what is due to Caesar. He do all his things for the answer. And the thing is that, no, I wouldn't be in a lyrical confrontation with me, man. Reasons being two different kinds. And I have too much respect for his work to go past stage because he's concerned away. You wouldn't feel good, just like when they are put in the clash. That thing where the ride the mind on a level. Ninja man are the only DJ on the walk up to and this and stage and Ray and a feel no way because he is of that character. Ninja man is this one stick with Ray 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 and me and him have that little thing they're going, but he is still my elder and I still have a love and a respect. For Ninja, a Beanie Man, him another kind of DJ, they say, same thing with, with him and kill him. I don't want to go between that something. I, Not like I was, I was. me is the man who loves him something. But I mean, if you need a party to get his noses now, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. I don't have to see the pattern. But if it happened, it happened. But I don't have to see that. You have too much respect to 
in Premier Cash in a thing. They have got hard enough. Me know you have got, got hard. Before you got on the phone, I was talking to my co-host, Banky Ipe, and we were, I was recalling the whole Bujo Bantan and, and Mad Cabra clash because I remember say, at that time I was still a young youth and me and you and Bujo and yeah. everybody used to spar and you and Bujo was friends at the time. Let me remember, let me, right. let me remember somebody you send me to you, DJ, you and Lady of Queens, man. And you and, and those of you who are listening, man, Cobra can testify this. Cobra was the person that introduced me to Bujo. Bujo was about eighteen or nineteen at the time. Right? Yes. And and, and yes. when Cobra okay. said when Cobra says that he endorses artists, it is true because Cobra got his break before Bujo. Many of you don't know that, you know, when Cobra came here. He was already Cabra, it was Cabra Panet, and there was a youth named Grindsman. You remember Grindsman? It was Grindsman yeah, at the time. Right, and yeah. then Buju comes in now, and Cabra kind of had Buju at the time, a young Buju, showing him the ropes back and forth. Back up. Yeah, so that is how yeah. me and Buju and Cabra got to link. But fast forward in that now, even though the two were, were good friends at the time, there was something about the industry, Cabra, you would be able to explain better than I am, that kind of put Cabra and Buju in a face-off situation. All right. And it took... Here, here what happened. Here what happened to me. At the time, I was also recording for Pentos. In the 90s, the early 90s, like from 80s, 90s, 90s, I come up. You have Shabarans and Ninja Man in Jamaica. That was the, 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 the so-called feud that was happening. Shaba is the put you up in your door, your room, you know you are people, that, that, kind of, that kind of deep voice, fine. So they, 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 they look at, at Buju at the time in the, in the 90s, as the young Shabba. Me as the man we have the, they then shot at her, but that kill to the kill and the gun deal you know, you see them have me as the young ninja man, because ninja man at the time was, was, was in New York and a gun chart and couldn't come to Jamaica, so that's one of the things that we capitalize on in Jamaica. So in Jamaica, now, me and Buju, they are Jamaica, as, as two young youth, they are come up with their own Shabbat in one way, they start to put that comparison. Cabra, younger ninja, Buju, younger Shabbat. So that is where you find that little comparison. So you end up do, that's why sometimes, when you do something, sometimes you have to just be, I just be, fear to be, man. Buju clash, Jim, you have to this after 20 years. Two days in a sleeper. Because before there was a cobbler and a butcher, there was you at Brown and Mark Myrie. Both of us come from Barbican. Two of us were anti Martin Basic School, New the RH. You understand? When we found our country that came from the Buddha, they are told, you know, when they come back at, at, at town, they end up at Tivoli Comprehensive. Buddha end up at Denham Town. So check Denham Town, people who know that graphical. The geographical structure of that thing. Even the conference is the right of stuff, and then I'm told the right of Spanish town road of stuff. See? So it's like more than family. But that was the, that was so close to her. So it is kind of hard me. You understand? But we get over that and we have to move on because we had them sit on and talk and laugh about it. You understand? But we are big man now, we understand the thing. But to me, right now, you understand the class thing about. The part of us, we walk in the walking stick and deal with people. <laughs> now, those of you, those of you who are listening, man, I know Cabra is trying to be modest about it. And all respect to Bujo Banton, of course, we are all supporters of Bujo Banton. But at that time, in that, you know, in that genre of the dance hall, in that part of the dance hall, I mean, Cabra was the bad man when at the gal thing. You know, it was to me, it was like Cabra was more maybe sixty percent bad man thing, forty percent woman thing. Bujo was the total yeah. opposite. He was more about yeah. the girls, but he did have him look a one, one and two bad man, two yeah. informer for that and so forth. Um, in prison oval, in right. prison oval, right. classic, yeah. on um, um, XS yeah. Nuclear, Cabra really got yeah. the best of him without a doubt. Cabra doesn't want to say it, but I will say it on air for everyone to hear. The hey. man that I'm talking hey. to on the phone got the best of hey. Bujo Banta. Jim, yes, sir. Let me tell you something. I, I, last, last, last year, because I visited last year, you know, I was in Tampa doing a show, and you know the promoter, the boy, way, 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 and we get up, we get, we do the, the necessaries, and I went down to the the the, 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 the jail and I visited him. 
and he's in good spirit, because we even talk about the same incident. And he's laughing at the boy, you know, you make off for me, and Ray Ray, and he's laughing for me, and he's laughing for me, and Ray, but who never, who don't know what is happening during that visit, which is in good, in great spirit. Same. Because when they're reading with him, he said, DJ, we stop, you know, smoke again, I'm going to drink again. I'm going to kick in a chin, kick on me, and kick on me, kick on me. Oh, wow. But one thing he said, yeah, one thing he said to me, chin, where, it dropped, even though I talk to you, hold up on the skin. The man said to me, said, why, DJ, one thing that they're going to do, he had my son, he's going to life. But I'm Marcus so that you make a right now. The producer, the producer right? Yeah, the yeah, producer. The man, the, the man said that the man said, may I have a way back. We have bad times and good times. But I want thing. So, you see the producer, thing, as I said, after 50 years, chin, but I go in the night, and I just get the night there. Eh? Yeah, little boy, them time there. Eh? You understand? So, they get a way because at the time, they have to say, oh, we'll have a way, way. Really. And I never knew that they did, you know. It was sent off against song records. At the time, right. That them did a company. Yeah, it was sent out. It was a private thing where them use we. They were the puppet master behind it. And 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 and, 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 and Shang Records was Patra, Shaba, and Cabra at the time, don't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I was with Pentos because if you notice, I recorded Yush and Gondolier and Bad Boy. So the album was for Pentos. Pentos recorded me long before Shang. Right. So when Shang came in, one the boy and I used to bad in about. Which was not the aim. The aim for Sean was to get me, because Shaba never wanted to tackle him with Ninja. Right. So then you, if you could, when I was with me, with me, with me, with me, with me, with me, and afraid to go up to, 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 to step the Ninja. Shaba, the afraid to step the Ninja. And the Shaba thing that, because Shaba's a woman in the front of the classroom, and Shaba, you know, with something. But me, no, that was what, one of my first. So Sean did them this and draw me around. Draw me with from 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 Pento. So it's have a little thing where Bernie that said, Alright, let them go on the cover. We have a part to me at the camp to Buju. But me and Buju got beyond that. So that was a part of so, me I tell you two chin me attack and it sound away. <laughs> you know, but the clash there, the only clash with this chin when you know when you know means I'm take me take me, me, me take it's a joke to do. It's a fresh flint stone ninja and bring a couple of past years and tell him to go go in and lie down and then something. If the do it and laugh. I you understand what I know, I know the bourgeois thing. I know the bourgeois thing was a problem because again, I can remember as you, you being the elder, me being them time, they me about 18, 17, and running behind you and bourgeois. Yeah. I know the closeness because it was a situation where you remember when VP Records used to keep all of their artists over by um Holiday Ooh, Inn. No. So when you flew into Ooh, Holiday no, Inn no, no, no. and what 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 right. what Bujo used to do every single morning. This this is the first time me know. Say Jamaican people just yeah. just wake up early in the morning because me a Yankee, you know. Me never know say Jamaican yeah. people wake up this early in the morning. And what Buju used to do, because yeah. at the time Buju never really have no friends, when he came here for VP Records, right, he used yeah. to walk over to Sean's house, which Sean's house was a couple of blocks away from Holiday Inn, and then yeah. Buju would walk over yeah. to my house. And then what we used to do yeah. is sit in the basement of my mother's house and we used to play video games all day. Yeah. That's what it was because yeah. he was a video fanatic. So definitely, yes. I know where it's coming from, man, and, and I can see yes, where you know, so where it hurts you. That you're some man, some man goes and look for the music in our but there's a beyond the scene. Yeah. You know, when they are far, when they are far, they are show because they are far people who are going to room, going to come over my room, going to far see. We get up and maybe. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what mess up that all right now. Kim, you see back in the nineties, Kim put on a show, put you on the show. Cabra on the show, um, Simpleton on the show, um, you name it, they were fabulous. With that is cool. You name it, everybody, the Jack Radix. This one time, we are going to the show, we are show, show the man to go here, the whole of we need a Spanish town for the highway, and we need a sort of the whole of we drive out together. This one is the show, we are pulling it to the field and say, sit down here, it's a den here, not, not in here. This one is the back here, the whole of we need a land up. Forward in the 90s, start from backstage. The energy there. When we're done with the show, at the will of the drive out. No man, no go to go with the one and say, Cabra pop down and Cabra want to see, keep it and pop down and keep it and want to see, which you are, are bonded and no man pop down. It was a, it was a, we were units in, in the 90s. 
is a different, if you take the genre, the, the generation that come, the end of the 90s going into 2000 change. That is where the bad mind and the eyes come. Some of them, you know, not all. Because they have some youth coming at the something where humble to the king, humble. Humble. They can't sing those couple of them, but humble. In, you could not call them in for the next man feel the out of place, but it's them to look within themselves and know to do why they are doing something wrong and way away. But you find some youth are humble, but you find some, even in the 90s, you used to find people are kind of their feet and dance. But the youth, that, the, the, that, that generation of the come, them bringing the eyes of something that they were talking and sling back off a man and man, it gets physical for stage and way, way. No love, no, they are getting changed. You have to love dance and love it to really go out there listen to it right now. Well, it's the voice of Mad Cabra, man. Cabra, we definitely have to go, man. The computer's about to chip in, but I gotta thank you so much for calling in. Very um, you know, um, um meaningful conversation we just had because you kinda, you know, said it straight about the lyrics. There's one thing that I didn't get to get out of you, and I'm gonna call you back and put you back on air in the future. Because I know that the song yeah. is not only aimed at Beanie Man, I know that it's artists. So we didn't get to mention somebody else no, that, that's, that no, that's why, that's why, that's why. No, no, that, that song was not recorded for Beanie Man. Couple of the line was for him, but he said, I never got the artist, you know, artist. Artist, yeah. But when you're when, 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 yeah, when, when going to plu, when you're gonna pl pluralize artists, you put the S. Like you have the artist, artist. Artist, so yes. It's, 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 yeah, so I'm not for them, I'm not man they nice. Everybody has them body. Yeah. We have my body below. Go down and talk to them and say we love this and that. But at the end of the day, I am me and I don't overstep boundaries that affect the life of people in my work. I don't do that. You understand? But as we said, we know Angel Devil is not a friend of mine. But there are some people where me for something. And one more thing before we move to, you know, the time again, so the love and respect are, are, are honor the artists when we, we go because we have new gifts open for dance hall. The BET. Something you have to give credit, Dan Penn, Then you have to pick up Shaka Dimo, Dan Flyers, Elephant Man, Beanie Man, the representation team. They love it, they love that up there. I want to be a good look for you now. He am a good look because you never get another tip, but me used to see the other artists never want to be We don't help me, but we have to put that behind you with glass for this, the movement front here. But one thing you know that, ooh, I listen now in higher authority that can make mention to higher people in higher position. We want them to start give out the Grammys on television, the reggae Grammys. Make them, no, 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 back is nothing. Real I talk, only want to picture. Real talk, real talk, yeah, real talk. Them. We have beg them. Mm -hmm. Because style television and dance is not dead. It's just the energy around dance We need to unite without unity in terms of nowhere. A bag of fight dance I'll get. You see? But we, if we don't unite, we can't move forward. You all right, it? all and right, the new right my brother. The new all right, yeah. my brother, I give thanks for calling in, man. The phone lines the phone lines are going crazy right now, and the computer's about to chip in. So let me pay some bills, man. Carver, thank you so much for calling in, man. So much for calling in. Give thanks. Here's my brother. Mad love. Yeah, man.